Hello, uh, my name is Abdallah Bernardo, and uh, I'm going to present my uh, system, which is voice recognition system. So uh, this system I've done in uh, MATLAB. So uh, in order to run the system, you need to, uh, to open your MATLAB. This is our version uh, 2012. So uh, once you open the system, there are two ways you can run it. Uh, the first one is uh, by right click and then click run. So the main menu will appear. And the second way is by just typing here voice recognition system just like so and click enter. So once you click enter, this is uh, the main page which you have here are about nine features, uh, not including the readme. So the first one is add from files. So second one is add sound from mic. Then you have recognize from file, recognize voice from mic, and playback from file or playback from mic. And you can delete your database, or you can also view your database, and you can convert also text to speech. So let's go just uh, one by one on this one very quickly. By first, um, uh, uh, first what happened? Okay, I will just clean the uh, database. In order to clean it, you just need to say uh, delete database. Then it will ask you, do you really want to remove it? Then you just say yes. Database successful removed. So uh, once you do so, then you need to uh, you run it. So now uh, it's like my database is uh, empty. If I say, okay, view database, it's gonna tell me database is empty. So uh, we can, if we, for example, now it's empty. If we try to recognize uh, any sound like so, like uh, recognize speaker from file, for example, this is our speaker one. So if we just click, like we want to recognize, it's gonna tell us database is empty. No match is possible because the database is actually empty. So we need to uh, first add this voice. So in order to add the voice from file, you need a sound ID, which uh, you can give it. If it's, if it's already there, then it's gonna tell you it's already there. So I'm gonna put a sound ID number one. Uh, let me just write it as zero one. And uh, the name I'm gonna put, uh, okay, let's say files. Okay, files means uh, recording for files. So uh, uh, here I will say add sound. For example, uh, first I will show if what happens if uh, we just want to put it without uh, uh, entering sound ID. So it's gonna ask you to insert your ID and username. So it's empty. So that's why I need to zero one and here username files, for example. Then if you say add the sound, it only can ask you here. I have uh, three speakers. Speaker number one is different person. Speaker number two, another person. Speaker number three, another person. This one is when we want to add a sound from file. So we can just, uh, for example, click this one and sound add to database. So once that's done, you can exit or you can go back to your menu. So if you, for example, try to view it, you can see that you have here a uh, file with number, this one is the name, which location, sound ID, uh, the username. So in now you are ready, you can even try to recognize it. For example, if I try to recognize it from file using another speaker, which is speaker number two, it should tell me that the user is not found because uh, that one is not a, in the database. So once I put user number two to try to recognize a user number one, then uh, you just need to wait and then it will gonna tell you, uh, please it's a wrong user, no match result. So which means I you have entered wrong user. Even in the uh, same way, if I try to recognize a speaker from my, for example, my voice, then like here, for example, if I try to record, then I'm going to say, please select proper recording time. So you need to add, for example, I will record for, let's say, three, four seconds. So I say record. Say hello, 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 hello. I'm recording now. I'm recording now. I'm recording now. Record stop. So it's going to try to find the match. No wrong user. No match is found. 
So we can go back. You should see. So what happens? Uh, we can recognize uh, like right one. For example, it was speaker number one. Here, was, if I put speaker number one, then uh, it gonna go again. Oh, uh, as you see here, recognize the speaker ID file. And remember, this was our username file, so it has been recognized as speaker ID files. So we can also same way we have another feature which is adding file, adding sound from microphone. So I'm gonna put here, here I'm gonna insert my voice so that they can recognize it later on. So sound ID, that one was zero number one, this one will be zero two, and username is Abdala, which is my name. Uh, same way, this one, if you leave uh, any space, it can ask you, please fill both. So I will write here Abdallah with my, if I don't put recording time here, it's gonna tell you, please record time, put, so I'm gonna put it, for example, four. Okay, four is fine. So once I record here, it will be saved in the database. So <clears throat> let's now, I need to speak a little bit louder to make sure that uh, the system is here properly. So let's record. Hello, 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 Abdallah here recording. Hello, Abdallah here recording. So the sound has been added to database. Say okay. So we can go back. So now I'm ready to recognize it. So I, if I try, for example, recognize number uh, one, for example, it cannot mistake and recognize mine, which is number two. Let's hope not. So uh, it should say number one because files, remember we put uh, the first one was files and the second one is Abdallah. So if I say uh, recognize from Mike, then it's gonna ask me to input uh, seconds, for example, four, so uh, four, five, so it depends how much time you want to talk, so record. Uh, Abdallah, Abdallah, Abdallah here, Abdallah talking here, please. So it is stopped, it is a uh, recognized ID is Abdallah. So uh, as you notice here, you don't have to say the same thing uh, when you record the end, when you are recognized, you can even speak different languages. You can even speak different language. For example, I will try to speak Portuguese, for example, record, I will put four. So here we speak in Portuguese, sorry for that. So yeah, uh, uh, Abdallah, I'm from Mozambique. Oh, so this is a mistake. I speak English. I should even speak in Portuguese. Anyway, uh, I estou bem, estou bem. Muito obrigado por ter feito isso aqui. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, anyway, to recognize Abdallah, as you can see, even if you speak any language you want to speak, it will always recognize it. So, uh, in the same way, we can also play file from, uh, sound from file, we can play sound from mic. They both take you into the same place. So for example, if we do this, so this one. So here, it's like, uh, even music we can also play. Here is like we uh, mostly we try our own voice. Uh, we can see if it fit actually records properly our voice. So we can say, okay, let's try, say, play. Okay, play, so once you click uh, play sound from mic, it's gonna ask you this window here, play from uh, mic or play from file. If we say play from mic, then we need to input here the seconds here. If we leave empty, then it's gonna say, oh, please select the proper time. Then we're gonna say okay four second then we're gonna actually we don't think it might fit here this so if we now if we say okay uh, play sound from data here for apu abdala here data here for apu uh, the volume is not louder uh, Talk again. Hello, 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 Abdallah here for APU student. So this uh, is much louder because it's a computer. Uh, anyway, so that's it. And it plots here. This one is uh, the wave plotted here. 
you can see here I was a little bit lower and this side here was a bit stronger and then I was lower so I can also play sound from file for example if I play or okay, let's play user number three and then we can actually Asset was a fastidious man. So can you see here the wave that was happening on the TV? So we can go back and uh, we can view the database. Database info. You can see we had two here. The first one was file, and the second one was a uh, uh, Abdallah. Okay. So what happens now is uh, we can also convert the text into the speech so converting text into the speech let's say okay uh, into speech. so the system should read this la the whatever i wrote here and it will be like trans converting reading the text so let's say speech Convert text into speech. So the, the Convert the, text into speech. So I click twice so that I don't miss out on one here. Okay, so that's the thing. We can go back and we can finish here. If I want to join this event also. Yeah, read me just about how how to operate in this system. My email is here. You can contact me at this number, my name, and all these things. So uh